Shut that kid up. And bring me a beer. What's that from, Ma? Um, life. He's in a he's in one of those shirts, white beater they call him. Street guy. Yeah. <laughs> you got it, eh? Yeah, there's uh, a Simpsons episode about it. Oh, there is. <laughs> Stella! Brando. Brando. You gotta see the real thing, Ma. Nah. Oh, come on, Ma. There's only one. Oi! Hey! There's only one Brando. There's only one Brando. Okay, if you've hung in this long, you may start to get a feeling that this show could be interesting. Well, I just want to tell you something I found out today. We got a real sophisticated audience. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're separating the chap from the grain <laughs> is what we're doing. And by the time I got the army built, it's going to be like Spartans. Yeah. And tonight we're going to talk a little bit more about that template. You know, I always like to got a lot of power in the morning. You know, I want to take on the, all the bosses in Hollywood in the morning. But my, right now, I just want to snort my China White and play my jazz. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Is that good? Yeah. I'll put, should I put a jazz, ja, jazz glasses on like Ray? Yeah. Ray didn't snort it. He cranked her. <laughs> Until he was jumping. His nerves <laughs> You know what I think they put them on? I put I think they put them on um, benzodiazepines at Probably. the end because he seemed so relaxed. Yeah. Too relaxed. He wasn't the same Ray. No. No. He wasn't. Cray Ray. It's a really big old time radio medicine show. Kick back and chill out. The mellow sounds of the singing DJs. <laughs> Are we gonna do it here? No, we do it in C. I'd like to do it here, Maul. Would you like to try? We can try it. Oh, I don't have to chop no wood. I can be bad or I can be good. I can be any way that I be one of these days. Oh, I won't have the coats on my back. Couldn't like a devil with a chopping axe. I won't shake him all by my back one of these days.
I think I just want to, you just go along with me, okay? Okay, it's time. It's a really big old time radio medicine show, so we got to take the ride out to the station. Going out to the old station out in the country. So right outside the door to your mind. Door to your mind. There's an old black Cadillac limo, and you're going to go out there and jump in the back seat of that old limo. With all your friends, anything you want in there, nobody if you want, just your dog, whatever you want, you're heading out, we're heading out. We're going out cruising, past the city limit sign, past the county line, through the amber ways of green, past the dairy farms and dairy cows, and getting real relaxed now, and we hit the old county line road. The old country road. got their toes hanging out of the window. Finally somebody sees the, the huge, huge tower. 50,000 watts. Station GHRT going all over America and the globe. Now with the chips, silicon chips. It's fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Fantastic. Then we're going to pull into the old radio station there, station GHRT, and everybody's piling out, going through the front door and seeing Betty Page at the front desk. Betty's going to give you your specialty and head you on down the stairs to the Roller Room studio for the really big old time radio medicine show starring Molly Griffin and her old dog, Dude. Coming to you live from station GHRT in the virtual haystack in your mind where the show starts in five minutes. And we don't spin the tunes on the turntable, we spin them on our souls. So kick back, chill out, and relax to the mellow sounds of singing DJ. I was thinking the other day about perception, Ma, and how different all different people's perception is. Mm -hmm. You know, I think most of the time when people are communicating, they think it's all hitting, they're all joining up like that. And I think it's shooting, like jet fighters. Mm -hmm. I shoot that thought at you, and you shoot that one back at me, and you know, if we come close enough, then we're like absolutely sure we're on the wavelength, same wavelength, right? Yeah. But you know, really, I think a lot of the time, it's going we're just, yeah, ways. it's going. And, and, and you know what I thought of when I thought of that? Yeah. I thought of the Dwight Yoakam song. Dwight says, that's the distance between you and me. Right? Yeah. Well, what about, that's the difference between you and me. That's a whole other song. Yeah. I got to write it like a sonnet, like the old English poets. Write it back to Dwight. Yeah. See what he's, I better not get involved because he's already doing the holes in the jeans for us, so. Yeah. Don't want to push it. Oh, we got to do this, and now you want me to go way up here? That's mine. Oh. Yeah, way up to a seat. Uh, it's enough heaviness for now, right? Yeah, that's good. I hope I get to the Hollywood thing. <laughs> 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 or yeah, that's the difference between you and me. Boy, well, you're not going to hear me anymore. I'm gone now. Up here and see, you can't hear me. I'm going to sing with you this time, too. Kiss me, mother, kiss your darling. Lay my head upon your breast. Throw your loving arms around me. I am weary. Lay
Oysters. The show is like smoked oysters, Mom. Mm. Because you know, the first time I had a smoked oyster, oh my God, <laughs> rough. <laughs> Don't right? like this. But you know, I worked on it. Yeah. Now smoked oysters is my favorite thing. Yeah. You know, but what smoked oysters don't have is puzzles, games, and stories. Yeah. Because you know, when we hit a belief system that screws with your head, you got to go into a bunch of puzzles, games, and stories to check and make sure that you're right. Yeah. And we're wrong. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it'll make you make believe ch- even make harder. Make sure you check stats because <laughs> they're so li- you know it's so hard to find truth. Yeah. out there. Yeah. Oh, everybody's lying. Everybody's, everybody's lying. lying. Stats are really good though. Stats are really good, and old sayings that are really based on stats. Tried and true. They're based on stats. Yeah. You're not gonna get a saying that's hanging around for like 500 years. That's based on nothing. Yeah. It's true. It's true, Dad. Enough heaviness, Ma. It's time to get out of the sad, what was that? Sad bluegrass. Sad blue, well, I, I boogied up the first one. Are you okay, Ma? Yeah. You look a little, a little peaky. <laughs> All right, I'll stop talking to you. I was trying to think Ma. of that song. Oh, uh, you, were in, you were in contemplation. Everybody's talking that. Oh, don't get me started on that. I don't hear what they say. Only the echoes cross my mind. Bring back memories of Southampton. I was on the railroad track down in Southampton. L- trying to get a freighter. Trying to get a freighter back to New York. Yeah, true story. And that's playing on the thing. I got my friend's jacket on. And this English guy over in the, across the track like that, he goes, he looks over at us and he goes, Hey, John Moy! John Moy! Giving over the ocean True story. like a story. <laughs> yeah. Giving over the ocean like a stone. I'm in the rock and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what? I want to do like songs like that. That's the problem. You won't spend any time on it. We get some good shit in here. What? You dippy little hippie. <laughs> Kill you in your sleep. <laughs> okay, wait a bit. Love you just got back from another vacation. <laughs> oh, a, a one night vacation. Whistler. Everybody in the world oh, wants to go to Whistler. A one night vacation that I spent watching TV. That's yeah, shit some Whistler. <laughs> it is. <laughs> good ad. Eh? Good ad for Whistler. <laughs> okay, now listen to me. What am I? What do I, I forget? Love done gone. We're yeah. gonna sing "Love Done Gone." All right. Song called "Love Did Done Gone." Did I already gone. say something good? Yeah. All right. You told the story. Oh, did I? Good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, about England. Yeah, that's right. Yep. I wasn't very happy, Ma. No. No. I just saw a movie. We were in. We were in a. We were. We were Mariners, right? Yeah. And we were in um. A, a hostel for Mariners. They were waiting for boats, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And we saw a show called One-Eyed Jacks. Hey, is Brando in that too? Somebody big is in it. One-Eyed Jacks. Hmm. I remember that. That's me- that's a long time. <laughs> long time. What is that I'm like? Not even gonna say. 1927. 27. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 well, they're gonna be able to figure out. Well, yeah. well that was on Hit Parade, right? Yeah. That's a big, big song. Figure that out. Go ahead. I love Harry Nelson. Is he still alive? I don't think so. No, I think a couple of really good guys, you know, the South Side. Yeah, that was an airplane. You know, that guy too. Yeah. 
Patsy Klein. Yeah, airplanes. Buddy Holly. Man. I'm not blind, Ma. <laughs> Don't do they it. They can't lose me, Ma. <laughs> 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 they lose me on the last of a dying breed, Ma. Okay. Okay, we gotta get going. We gotta sing a song. What the yeah. hell's going on? Uh, can we do it in here? You can try. No, I don't think so. No. But, but it's in what a, key? It's in a B usually, so. Oh, okay. Well, there, that's just okay. Do you think I should go right up to no, the No, 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 just leave it. <laughs> Let me take you by the plane. Nope. Somewhere down New York ba -ba 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 -ba. way. Where the people are so gay. Twisting the night. Way. No, I'm not gonna sing. <laughs> Sign another album. You. You'll have to buy that album. <laughs> There's no albums anymore. Forget about it. You don't get up here and be funny, be Nashville Vaudeville. Bill. You're not getting any money from nobody. And you don't deserve it. And either. even if you do, so you're not goes getting to all the no kids one. that are trying to make it by doing an acoustic cover down there and get discovered by the dudes. <laughs> yeah. You're S O L is what we used to say. S O L. Sorry to blow it for you. <laughs> ba -ba -dee -o -ba -dee -o -ba -ba. I'm the bearer of bad, bad things. Sometimes it's better to, you know, cut quick instead of raising the hatch your leg. Ba -o -ba -dee -o -ba -ba -ba. Don't worry, baby, sometimes things change. Nothing we can do about it, I know. It doesn't come easy that your life can't keep pretending everything is all right. We told each other it was love before. The simple truth is it just ain't no more. Bells start the ring and all the music won't play. Crazy little thing is just spinning away like snowflakes when the weather warms up. Leaves on the trees when the autumn come Like a dogwood blossom in a bright spring rain Disappearing bubbles in a glass of champagne Like a red cat lost in the blue sky wind. I don't know where the good times went There ain't nothing we ever said or ever done wrong It's just love done gone I don't regret a single thing that we did Any time together we ever spent I wouldn't change a thing, a oh, baby you know Sometimes we got to just go with the flow Like snowflakes when weather warms up Bees on the trees when the autumn come Like a dogwood Blossom in a late spring rain A disappearing bubble in a glass of champagne Like money in a slot machine I don't know what I'm happy to see Yeah, there ain't nothing we ever said Or ever done wrong They just love down on Bop, body, oh, body, oh, scat me Oh, bop, body, oh, scat me my aura we just truck on down the road <laughs> yeah bobbing in and out never know where i'm going that's what's exciting about me ma you never know where i'm going <laughs> that's what you get for loving me gordon lightfoot that's real good that's back in the 60s what about those girls that are all screaming right now back in the 60s we used to go that's what you get for loving me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gotta go yeah. now. Sorry. <laughs> I'll leave you and the kids alone now. <laughs> like that damn Woody Guthrie, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just bug it up. Yeah. And he stole the bloody tune and that song. That really gets me down. <laughs> Nobody ever said that. Arlo never told me that. No. No. <laughs> I'm gonna. Gotta get on his case, I guess. Yeah, you gotta go find him. I you guess know. I shouldn't be talking like that. 
No. No. Why not? I don't know. It is the truth. It's the it truth. Is the truth, Mo. It is a truth. Did I tell you that I can see the systems? Can you see the when systems? When I'm developing systems? Yeah. Uh, at first, they're just like epiphanies. Mm -hmm. But then as they come further into form, mm -hmm. I can actually like see them. Yeah. Uh, more like feel them. Yeah. Both, I guess. Yeah. I think I'm more feel than visual. Yeah. Definitely. It's weird. Definitely. Yeah. It's weird. Yep. I'm having all this yep. objectivity now that I'm getting age on me. Yeah. Wow. Definitely. It's a lot of fun. Definitely. <laughs> or it could be scary to some people. Yeah. Because, like, I see truth and not truth. That's why the book is called the, the should book. Yeah. Because it's got all the stuff you should do. Definitely. But it's also got what in it? It's also mm -hmm. called the do-do book. Yeah. That's what we do do. Yeah. That is do do. <laughs> <laughs> you could say it. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> um, You're a riot, Alice. <laughs> 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 What's that? Jackie Gleason. Honeymoon. Uh. You're a riot, Alice. Alice is pretty cool. I like her. One of these days, <laughs> Alice. <laughs> 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 The thing what they don't know now, the politically correct freaked out people and program people, yeah. is that it wasn't like it wasn't like in an antagonistic way that well, you were saying it. I watched that show and she's obviously like the strong one. In oh, the totally. Duo. The whole message yeah. is oh yeah. She's totally. like super tough and awesome. I know. <laughs> That's what so much you know. Yeah. Whatever. Okay, let's get on with the show, Ma. Okay. What do we got now? Fish and fries. The Canadian version of chicken fried. <laughs> We don't have chickens in Canada, we only have fish. We're not actually in Canada, though, Ma. We got one foot on one side, one foot on the other. One foot in the grave. No. <laughs> Unless you call the states a grave. <laughs> Some people might. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, yeah. Here we go now, we're going. As soon as I... It's a Gord Bamford, right? It's in a beat. Well, you want to do it here? Hey, no. No, no I better. I'd like to do one yeah. song in the right key. <laughs> I know, I try to control myself. Because <laughs> the band gets mad at me, you know. They get mad at me. Yes. Did I ever tell you what Waylon Jennings, he would give the band three beats. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew what song he was going to do. Yeah. And if they weren't, weren't in in three, they're in trouble. Was it okay because all the songs sounded like the same song? Well, I don't know. He was so stoned. Yeah. I don't think he really knew. <laughs> Like my fish and fry, I go beer on a Friday night. A pair of jeans that fit just right. I hear the radio. Oh, oh, oh. I like to see the sunrise. I oh, see the love in my woman's eye. I feel the touch of a precious child. An old mother blue. Raised up Canadian fine near the American line. It's where the best big wood grows, fish and jumbo crab. Working on a salmon line. It's where the best wheat grows, and my house is not much to talk about. But it's home, you know, you can't put no dollar sign on a piece of mine. This I've come to know, whoa, you know, we like my fish and fry. Cold beer on Friday night. A pair of jeans that fit just right I ain't a real I like to see the sunrise See the love in my woman's eyes Feel the touch of a precious child And know a mother's love To those Wall Street guys and let them just as rank. Oh, I'll raise a glass to those Occupy guys and all the ones that give their time. So we all might climb back to things we do. You know, like a fishing bride. Go beer on Friday night. Pair of jeans that fit just right. And read you
if he's young. Um, is there something else in do, here? You could do walk through this world with me if you wanted. Is that there? Yeah. So okay. It says it's in a G. Okay, we better do that. So oh. you think? How many more we got? Then we've got. Oh, well, we got all that stuff. That. Yeah. Oh, we be Okay, yeah. Walk through. Yeah. Okay. Walk on what, through. Where do you want me to do that? G. It says G, Dad. G. The big G. I was also thinking, Mom. I was also thinking. Even death is not feared by the man who lives wisely. True. True, Dad. I just thought of that the other day, Mom. No, I didn't, Mom. That's from Buddha. <laughs> <laughs> Still thought of it. You were thinking of it. I learned it on um, CSI. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's where I learn everything, Mom. <laughs> and criminal minds. But this is this is my own. Well, it's not my own, I'm sure. Yeah. A lot of people thought of it about it before. But the character of a family is has the same components as the character of a society, mm -hmm. as the character of a nation, as the character of a species. I always did that game when I was little. It I gets rougher and rougher as you move out. Yeah. You know, but... You know, it starts close. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm talking I about? I always used to do that when I was little. I always used to think about how it was, you're a, a person, and you fight within yourself, and then you're in a family. Yeah, I didn't even and you say personal because I wasn't sure that that was right, but I it's mean, probably right. It's uh, Yeah, go ahead. And then you're in a family, and you fight within your family with each other. Yeah. But then you fight amongst families, like families will team up against families. Right. And then you're in school, because I was a kid, so schools fight against schools, and then communities will fight against communities and everybody everybody it teams everybody up every time so like if you're fighting in your school once you have to fight another school you team up right and it goes up and up and up countries and in planets. lieu of that emotional problem you got to do this walk through this world with me go where i go Share all my dreams with me I need you so oh, You know that in life we search And some of us find Had a look for you Such a long, long time And now that I've found
Mm -hmm. uh, it's not fighting all the time. Oh, it's just in that the history of Scotland. <laughs> I just started watching that history of Scotland. All they were doing was fighting, fighting, fighting. Oh no, Sonny, Sonny recognized that that's usually an Ender song. Now he's getting oh, ready. Oh no, well it's the end of the, till the, for the Molly Griffin in the middle. Um, I'm gonna sing Blue Bayou, Dad. Blue Bayou. Oh, do you want to record that? You know your hat's on sideways. <laughs> <laughs> is that? Okay. <laughs> All right, well here she is, the queen of the Chanawake. The Billy Holiday of country music. Molly Griffin singing the old uh, Roy Orbison, uh, Linda Ronstad, uh, a few others. Yeah. Blue Bayou. The shrimp. Shrimp balls. Shrimp pancakes. Stop talking about it, Dad. I'm <laughs> hungry. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I want to sing all these songs, too. Mom. Did? He died, didn't he? Yeah. Were they all dying when they went on that? They all got together? Got the... Who, oh, Traveling Wilbur? Traveling Wilbur? No, he died during that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. They had a music video. Okay. That they made after he had died, but they'd record the song. And instead of him, they had a guitar sitting in a rocking chair to represent him. Ooh. It was very tender. Very tender. <laughs> Blue Bayou. Molly Griffin. Feel so bad, I got a worried mind. I'm so lonesome all the time. Since I left my baby behind on Blue Bayou, saving nickels, saving dimes, working till the sun don't shine. Looking forward to happier times on Blue Bayou. I'm going back someday. Come on, May to Blue Bayou. Where the folks are fine and the world is fine on Blue Bayou. Where those fishing boats with the sea. Dr. Joey G, and he's coming in, and he's coming around the corner, and he's walking in, and he's coming around the back, and he's coming in, and he's uh, gonna sing you a song. Yeah. Now I remember about that song. That's a, yeah, couldn't hear it really good, but I, I get freaked. <laughs> I <know. laughs> Me too. It's a tough song to sing, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I forgot that. 
Yeah. It's the only oldie I could think of right Yeah, I know, but you got to remember that you got to, when you record, you got to pick songs that you're going to keep singing them, right? You're going to have to sing them. Yeah. Well, that'd be like the perfect song, like to keep your, I mean, <laughs> every song would be easy after that, right? Yep. <laughs> be like, yeah, nothing to do it. Good, anyway, nailed the end there. Good. Nailed it. Yeah. Okay. Enough said then. All right. Uh, you already told them I was the uh, hardest working man in show business, right? Did you? Yeah, I did. The hardest working man in show business. There's two blank pages in the shit book. Oops. Oh, God, now this. Well, I just want to tell you something, okay, before I start talking about this. I pulled a guy off a girl once, mm-hmm. right? I mean, I don't go for none of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, at all, at all. Yeah. But, you know, I remember feeling that the reception I got afterwards was a bit weird. From her? Uh, yeah, both of them. It was like I disturbed something. Yeah. And then this Fifty Shades of Grey come out. Yeah. And I was going, you know, because I pick up things by feel, right? How yeah. she felt and how he felt, right? Yeah. And I'd, like, got fucking mad. I pulled, you know, stopped it. Were they, like, a couple? No, really, no. They just met. They were just horny kids. Uh. But I'm not saying, I'm not saying nothing. I'm just saying that's a real experience that I had. Yeah. Okay? And it was like a bit disturbing. And I know a friend of mine also got involved in something like that. A mm-hmm. father and daughter thing was going on. He got in like nothing but trouble for it. Yeah. You know, so don't think that like. It's I not so know. simple. No, it's not that simple. Yeah. All right? We're talking about Tinseltown. Truths now. Yeah. Okay? Because it's kind of turning into a pile on lynch mob. Yeah. You notice that? Yeah. Well, I think that's going to work its w- its way if you let that keep going. Mm-hmm. It would get right to the stats of the courts, mm-hmm. which is terrible for women. Yeah. That's what screws it. That That's the thing that hurts the women that are totally valid. Yeah. Is the massive percentage that it's not. Yeah. They go for the attention and the power. Mm-hmm. It's just a thing. It's been going on for ages, and it's the biggest problem that they have to contend with. Mm-hmm. Enough said, then. <laughs> <laughs> so now we'll go uh, off to the 50s tonight. <laughs> Let's go back to the 50s. When we didn't talk about these Did things. I stun you? <laughs> Did I stun you? Uh, no, but I was talking about the European girls, right? Mm-hmm. And you don't want to approach I it stupidly. You know, you're just going to shoot yourself in the foot. Yeah. Okay. You got to deal with the... Close your what eyes. What you got to deal with. Okay. What what key is this? B, Dad. Oh. It's in a B. Oh. For Bobby All right. Day. All right. Well. For Barbarino. This kind of a combination of um, Temptations. No, not Temptations. Drifters. Oh no, who no. did no no who did that? Ronnie Millsap. No, no, yeah, I know, but you know what's inside it, the old oh, R and B yeah. song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the who is that? In the still of the night? Something uh, like that. Oh yeah, it's another dude. Yeah, yeah. It's is different. it like Percy Faith? Uh, school <laughs> 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 Yeah, we're talking about well you hear, but let's sing the song, you'll know what we're talking about. Right in with your answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here we go. Hold them back, Hank. You haven't been drinking, have you, Hank? Do you believe him, Mom? No. He's drunk. Best uh, recording engineer in Nashville. Was. Student of the grape. (laughs) Hey, start with your voice. Stop. Oh, what is it I'm doing again? Close your eyes. Okay, just a minute. I can get it. I can get it. Close your eyes, baby. Follow my heart. Call on the memory. Here in the dark, we let the magic take us away. Back to the feeling we had when they played in the still of night. Hold me tight 
and sing it. Shuru, 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 lost in the fifties. Survive. That's all that matters. Well, I past is alive. Nine for always. The time disappears. We'll hold each other whenever we hear. In the platters? By blurting it out? Yeah. Because I thought I might not remember it till the end. Yeah. I thought I had it there. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Check it out. Whatever. Let me know. Keep the cards and letters coming in. Now, there's another thing that we have to deal with because you, you see them piling on. Everybody's piling on. A little like, Affleck guy is not coming to the awards <laughs> because he doesn't, he's not coming into that. Yeah. He had a little trouble. He still swears that it was bullshit. Yeah. I mean, you know, these things get into stories. You got it's too captivate, capture, captivate, capture. Who defines? Mm -hmm. You know, but you know what I saw when it, when it's like obvious. Yeah. Well, you know, that's that's something. You know. Yeah. That's like bullshit. Yeah. I don't know. You know, I mean, I think it's great if all this thing ends up. Being that little girls would just start screaming right away, mm -hmm. you know, thinking that's the right thing to do. Yeah. Well, of course that's right, eh? Yeah. 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 But you know, pylon lynch mob and Hollywood is so full of attention desperate. Yeah. People. Yeah. Okay. Hard to trust. Of course they are. Yeah. That's what the drama class is. Yeah. Look at me. Yeah. I'm as helpless as a kitten up a tree. <laughs> oh. Well, Takes one to know one, right, Mo? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm here for political reasons. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just here for the oh, food. Oh, nurturing deficit. It's a nurturing deficit, and you mm. can't fill it in, man. It's nurturing deficit on both sides. Yeah, you can. The men you, and you the women. You can become an actor, and I, I'm not saying it. They're all like that. I'm saying there's a prevalence. Yeah. There's a prevalence. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The same as is the prevalence of psychopaths that are surgeons. Yeah. And Wall Street executives. Yeah. Prevalence. Prevalence. Good word. Prevalence. Prevalence. Oh, Valencia. Oh, uh, now I want to go down, uh, down uh, you know, the canal mm. in the gondola. Well, you're is in Is it luck. time to go down there? Yes, it is. Oh, I My thought friend. it might be because of the 50s. But I didn't really know when I started saying that. That's how spooky that is. That's not that sweet. Are we doing it here? No, we're doing it in a G sharp, Dad. Oh. All right. G looks very good. high. Hey, right? Yep. All right. Okay, it's the old Dino now. We're going on down the, going on down the canals in the old gondola. I got my ticket. I'm getting my ticket. Quit bullshitting, Mom. Your gondolier ticket? Yeah. I'm getting my ticket. <laughs> When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's glory. When you walk down the street with a cloud at your feet, you're in love. When you walk in a dream, no, you're Just 
seen back in old Napoli there, Molly. Finish it off on that song, Mom. No, we're what finishing it down there. On Tennessee Waltz. Oh, that's a fifties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll do this. Right First, here. we gotta okay. do Sam Cook. They killed Sam down in Los Angeles, and he wasn't bringing in a couple of keys. A couple of keys means kilos. Yeah. Marijuana. Twigs and seeds back in those days, Mom. But you know, I've been Good looking times. for it. I've been looking for that for a long time because I don't like this real strong shit they got now. No. It's scary. Makes you think too much. That's already a problem for me, Mom. Me too. We're both just too <laughs> smart. <laughs> okay. Sam Cook. Darling, you send me, I know you. You thrill me, darling, you. You send me, and as you do. I thought it was infatuation But now it's lasted so long That I find myself wanting To marry you and take you home You thrill me, darling you You thrill me, I know you You thrill me I thought it was infatuation But now it lasting so long That I find myself wanting To marry you, take you home whoa, whoa, whoa. You send me, darling, you Oh, you thrill me, darling, oh, you You send me Is Patsy Klein singing this next song here? Yeah. That's pretty thrilling. Is it also this pig? <laughs> but I'll tell you right here now, Leanne, Leanne Rhymes, I like to hear Leanne Rhymes sing it. Yeah. She kicks ass. She's pretty cool. For sure. She's pretty cool. Yep. She had it all going on by the time she was like 10 years old. Yep. 13. She likes some kind of sultry, fancy, handsome looking dudes, you know. Yeah. Look like gigolos. I don't really know. <laughs> Thank you. I was watching thing. Uh, long time ago. Long time ago. Long time ago when the earth was green. There was more kinds of animals than you've ever seen. They'd run around the earth when the ark was being born, but the loveliest of all was the unicorn. 
Did you know that, Mo? I've heard that before. All right, then. Shut up, my St. Patsy Klein. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah. Have we said enough about this? Yeah, we said good, good hey, amount. Deal with the thing about the court stats. Yeah. You got to, you, you know, take the, this is the way you get shit done. You take the hard stuff first. It's just like eating the, the stuff you don't want to eat. I mean, I'm not like that, but I know other people are. Eat your vegetables first. First. Yeah. That's right. And that's what I'm talking about tonight. Yeah. The vegetables. It's like my analogy for it the is when you're cleaning, clean under the stove and then clean the floor. Clean everywhere first, inside all the cracks, so it doesn't all seep back out and ruin your good cleaning job. You got to clean underneath the rug. And then the last, okay, yeah, that's brilliant. Yes. And, you know, it brings to mind this thing that I d- just coined mm-hmm. yesterday mm-hmm. to tell the young, younger people. Mm-hmm. Well, you're, everybody's younger. They're getting older all the time, right? It's all relative, right? But... In your, your, in your youth, yes, you're a retarded version <laughs> of your older self. Yes. It usually should work like that, Mo. I mean, there may be some whatever. Yeah. But you're a retarded version of your older self. Yeah. So you can look forward to being like a wiser. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of brilliant, isn't that? That's pretty good. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> but I wanted to say this because I don't want to say anything after we sing the song. Okay. Not much, Amy. This is the drums up what I've been saying about deficit and nurturing. Yeah. You get that obsession for attention. Yeah. Because of your childhood. Yeah. And the society is kind of like a childhood to everybody. Mm -hmm. And the more Machiavellian you make make it, the more dog-eat-dog you make it. Yep. No maternity leave pay. Yeah. Uh, Both women and men are supposed to work all the time. Yeah. And... You know, stress, stress, stress. Everybody's stressed out. Yeah. What do you think? You think you're going to get an attention deficit to the children? Yeah. 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 Exactly. (laughs) That's the vegetables right there. That's the biggest. That's the beans. Horrible. Some kind of horrible beans. (laughs) (laughs) But you got to eat them because they're real good for you. You got to deal with that first. And it's hard. But once you get it going, I mean, it's cool. Yeah. Go on, uh, Sloan. Have a look. They're not perfect, but they're pretty damn good. Okay, here we go. Patsy Cline. Did I say Patsy Cline? Yes, you did. Boy, did she get ripped off on her record deals. Holy crapola. Gave her something like 1%. (laughs) It's really bad. (laughs) Okay. It's not when the moon hits your eye. I was waltzing. Yeah. Were you? Yep. I didn't tell you about it. Me too. (laughs) Oh, I didn't tell you before now either but this reminds me of a burn dance we were at up in port st john Mm -hmm. in the mud Mm -hmm. the blood and beer Mm -hmm. we come out at the kind of the halftime intermission time and we were way up like really big burn eh? yeah it was up in the loft it was huge huge yeah and we looked out in the parking lot was muddy Mm -hmm. out there i don't know if it's raining or you know it had been at least and there was three fights going on yeah. in the mud, but you could hardly make out the people because it was so much mud. It was yeah. mud all over them. It was like uh, John Wayne in North Alaska. Mm-hmm. Anyway, my buddy Larry, he turns to me. He's the guy that was with me in Southampton over there, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. The English guy. Hey, John Boy. Yeah. Hey, dude. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways, so he looking and he says, Joe, he says, Joe, look at those two right there. And... And I'm looking, he goes, they're girls. <laughs> it was two girls. <laughs> One of the fights was two girls going at it in the mud. <laughs> uh, yeah. Nice, nice. He was looking closer at the fight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Frontier. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. We were out there trying to get land up on the Beaten River. You know, they still could get uh, crown land. I don't know if they still have that. I was waltzing with my darling to Tennessee Waltz when an old friend I happened to see. I introduced him to my darling while they were waltzing my friend stole my sweetheart from me. I remember that night in the Tennessee 
walls and only you know it's just how much I have lost Oh yes I lost my my little darling Not the sophisticated audience because uh, I can hear by what they're saying. I can hear by what they're saying. They're sophisticated and they're getting into some of the stuff we're talking about. Because you know why, Mom? Because it's just food for thought. Isn't it? Just something to chew on. Don't you think? Now. Booyaka said amazing. Asleep or you don't get paid. 
All right, it was good having you in tonight. We're putting on a little show here. And we want you to keep the cards and letters coming in. We're going to see you all in the funny papers, aren't we, Ma? Yep. Yes, we are. So you have yourselves a good old Ochimito. And a dose of Ochimito for the Espanola. And a troisième Ochimito for the Francais Bibon. <laughs>